Do you know a very easy way to put in a zipper is with a serger? First off, two things. You do need a zipper that has the nylon teeth, not a metal teeth, because we're actually gonna sometimes serge over that zipper. Plus, the longer the zipper, the better. See how much extra extends off the end? This is gonna make life so much simpler that you're not running up against the tabs and the pull. Now, what I'm gonna actually show you is something we do uh, all year round. We do these charity gift bags, and it takes four seams with our fabric. So I have a little kind of fabric sandwich all put together. We've got fabric batting. It's 10 by 16. This is a great way to use up fabric and it goes to a good cause. We make these bags and then we actually fill them full of soaps and shampoos, toothbrushes, that type of thing. And it really helps um, our local charities have something to give out to their guests. So the important part is realizing where on the front of the foot to watch because part of the zipper is going to get cut off, but you want the needles not too close to the teeth that you catch it and of course close enough that it looks good. So the, the notches on the front of the foot that line up with your needles, you want those fairly close to the zipper teeth. So I kind of angle on, you notice I kind of lift the foot up to kind of get started and then watch where my fingers are. They're actually kind of holding this zipper because the foot's kind of not level right this second. So I'm just running it down, I can cut off part of the fabric, makes it uh, nice and even. And like I said, this is four seams. So this is how it's gonna look. We've gone across the zipper here. We've surged it into place. And if I wanted to just test it real quick, make sure I didn't catch any part of the teeth, that always is a nice little uh, worthwhile step. Now I'm gonna take the zipper and stitch it to the other end of my fabric. Another good um, choice of fabric is like home deck fabrics. Then you don't do batting so much in here. Um, it's just, it's amazing what you can use up. Or if you have some flannel, a little layer of flannel inside here is nice as well. Now once again, this second row of zipper is kind of thicker because we're stitching on top of where the seam was from before. So definitely hold that down so it doesn't push it away from where the, the actual stitching is. So here's what we have, we got two zippers. The most important part of this bag is to zip the zipper down into the center. So our zipper is actually inserted. Now we're going to do the side seams. We're going to roll this down about an inch and then we're going to just tuck the two um, open parts together here. I'm going to kind of hold them. But now we're going through two layers of batting, four layers of fabric, and a zipper. And yes, we are going to let the serger cut that off with the knife. So give it a little help. Get it started. If you haven't already, lengthened your stitch length because now we're going over some thick, thick areas. You don't need the serger putting down lots of close stitches. So just get that all in there and then stitch it down. We make hundreds of these, in some years thousands, and then we fill them uh, every October at our store. So next time you're at a hotel, those little um, travel size soaps and shampoos, those fit perfectly in these bags. And so we have a lot of people that just donate bags of that uh, throughout the year. Then we have others that use their brand new sergers for something wonderful like this. Look at that. One seam, two seams, three and four. We turn these right side out. You don't have to really worry about these. You can just clip them. And when you turn this, we have a bag that is completely finished with a zipper on the serger. And we have piles of these, but we always need more because every year we are back to zero after we get them all filled. So look how fast that was to put together. And you can practice using your serger and something even more special, putting in a zipper.